the star of Chuck, also the voice of Flynn Rider in the new hit movie, Tango. Please welcome back to the show, Zachary Levi. <laughs> Nice to have you back, bro. Thanks, Thanks for having me, back. And it's always good to see you, man. Good to see you, too, George. How was Thanksgiving for you? Jo uh, Thanksgiving was great. How was Thanksgiving for y'all? Was it good? <laughs> Ate a lot. You know, I mean, that's what Thanksgiving's about. Friends, family, food. Did you go out on the weekends, or did you stay in? No, I, I just hung out, played some ping pong, some video games, you know. <laughs> you're in a, you're you like are, a, you're in a like food Mr. coma. You can't go out anywhere. But you're like Mr. Video, right? I love video games. I'm a nerd. I mean, that's, that's what I... <laughs> any other nerds? <laughs> But by the way, but nerd is cool. Let everybody know that. Everybody's nerdy about something. Like, like you and I, we're nerdy about the Lakers, right? We're yes. nerdy about the Lakers. Yeah. Love the Lakers. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. In fact, in fact, I have, a, I have a website, a company called thenerdmachine.com. Go check it out. It's got cool t-shirts and all that stuff. Go check it out if you get a chance. Anyway, that's it. That's my only plug. I'm not, that's my only plug. Right, I'm not the, plugging it The last out. time you were here, you were on hiatus from Chuck, and you said you were going to go to Europe. Did you go? I did, man. I went to Europe. It was uh, my first time. I'd never been, and I got to go to Europe, and it was amazing. I mean, it's... Uh, Where did you visit? Spain, France, um, gosh, uh, Holland, uh, England, Monte Carlo, all kinds of places. Amsterdam. Amsterdam. <laughs> everyone, always, everyone always gets this devilish grin. Oh, to Amsterdam. Oh, well, no, I mean, what what did you do there? <laughs> <laughs> but a nerd would say Holland, and somebody cool would say, bro, did you go to Amsterdam? Did you go to Amsterdam, brother? <laughs> Uh, no, I did, man. It was amazing. I had a, I had a Dutch friend uh, who lived there in Amsterdam, and she had you know, a lot of other friends, and they had a boat. We went on to I know, right? Friends of friends. What a, hey. what a crazy concept. And uh, <laughs> they had a boat. We, the weather was great. We went on a boat on the canals and rented bikes for a week. It was incredible. Yeah. It's like the cars in L.A., how there's too many of them. Yeah. The, it's like bikes in Amsterdam. Everybody just rides around on a bike. It could be snowing on. They're like, let's do this. Come on. <laughs> yeah. And what about the language? Did you have? Did you do you speak any of those languages? Uh, no, no, I speak a little Spanish. I speak a little Spanish. You know what I mean? I mean, I. What is, what is a phrase that you used in Spain? What did you? Uh, <laughs> well, there were many, George. Uh, <laughs> Which ones can you tell us? Uh, más cerveza, por favor. I mean, you know, I mean, you gotta. I can say, I can say, I need a beer in like at least four languages. I think. <laughs> Yeah, at least four languages. But Spanish, you know, I grew up in Southern California, so it was very helpful, you know what I mean? We're very close, and I think yeah. it's a very important thing to know. And so I took some Spanish in high school, and it's, but you learn the most when you're, like, in the countries. I spent time in Costa Rica, I spent time in Spain, and, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful time. The women in Spain are beautiful, oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, they are gorgeous, yeah. aren't they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but didn't you wake up with, like, an eye that was closed, bro? Oh, dude, it was, it was horrible. Was we, were in, we were in Italy. And the weather was really, really bad, and it bummed me out because everyone always talks about Italy and how it's, you know, it's a beautiful place. There's so much history, and it really is. It's an amazing place, but like three days into the trip in Italy, I woke up in the middle of the night, and my eye was glued shut, and I was like, what in God's name? And I go into the bathroom, and, it, and I had pink eye. It was so bad. It, oh, no. Do they still have that? You had some shit don't even exist. <laughs> How did you get that? Uh, pink eye, see? Uh, it's just old school sickness. No, it's crazy. I mean, I had to go to the hospital in Rome, and, you know, finding a hospital in a, in a foreign country, like, I don't know, you're on Google, it's like, Google, it's not even Google. <laughs> and uh, so I finally find a hospital, and, um, and we go down there, me and my buddy who was traveling with me, we go down there, and I speak no Italian, so I'm charading my way through how to... I have a sick eye. I, a little sick eye. Do you understand? And they kind of, like, usher me around, and I finally end up in the, in the, in the room, like in the, you know, the operate, no, operating room. No, no, not operating room. They're like, blah, 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 drilling in my eye. No. So this doctor sits down with me. And thank God she spoke, like, this much English, because between this much English and my non-existent Italian, I was somehow able to explain that I have. And she's like, uh, these are some drops that you put in your eye. I said twice a day, and you put in the thing. And I'm like, oh, great. I think I, I, think I follow. Um, Can you fly with pink eye? I don't think that's right. No, you can't, George. <laughs> I hit it. I hit it from T TSA. They were, they were patting me down. They didn't pat my eyes, thank God. They're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Uh, I'm like, like, check, the, check every, down here. Don't worry about this. Because <laughs> everybody can get it. People leaving the airplane like that. Hey, that was I a know, great flight. Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know. I didn't know that you couldn't, you couldn't fly with pink. I knew you could get it, all right? But I was, to me, I was like, I have drops. I'm not touching anybody. So I didn't, I didn't know that you couldn't fly with pink eye. So for anybody who was spent off. any time between Rome and Barcelona around mid-May, I'm sorry for the conjunctivitis. That was not, <laughs> it was not intentional by any stretch. All right, so con let's congratulate you on Tangle, bro. I saw, oh, the, thanks, I saw all the promos for Tangle, but it did well this weekend. Thank you. It did great. Thank you. It did very well. It was second to, second to Harry Potter. That's yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, you know, everybody at Disney is uh, incredibly thrilled, and I'm very thrilled. It's a, it's a total bucket list thing to be a part of a Disney animated uh, musical. It, I mean, it ever really since... is. And to have it be this big. Let's, let's take a look. Just uh, look at it. Uh, Zach, a, a little clip from Tangled. Ah, there it is. The Snuggly Duckling. Don't worry. Very quaint place. Perfect for you. Don't want you scaring and giving up on this whole endeavor. Now do we? Well... I do like ducklings. Yay! Garçon, your finest table, please. Ah! Okay. Yeah. Right here. Here's the thing. Your character has has been voted the finest Disney character they have ever created. I heard it, well... Wait, 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 wait. Let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. They, they did do, I, and I only found out about this later on, too, because they had created the character before I even got the job. They, they knew what Flynn was going to look like. And yeah. then, and I got the job, and we did it, and then we've been doing press for it. And in the press release, they told all the reporters about this whole thing, where they had, like, 300 women all decide, like, what is the best-looking man. They looked at all these pictures, and they narrowed it down. And all of a sudden, they're like, yeah, this is... This is the guy, so it's an honor, but uh, oh no, it's, it's an a honor. cartoon. I mean, I don't know. It's what a cartoon, but it's an honor. Look, I'm a Smurf and a grouchy one at that. <laughs> so you're, you're the most handsome dude Disney's ever created. Hey, I'll take it. I did I'll a, take it. I did a Disney movie. I was a Chihuahua. Come on. You were yes. Yes, you were. So the last time we were here, we compared golf carts. Let's take a look at, at your. You called it the redneck herder. Let's yeah. take a look at Zach's. <laughs> That's his old golf cart because he wanted it to be like mine, pimped out. This is my golf cart. <laughs> so Man. I promised you the last time you were here that I would hook you up with a golf cart, and and you're not I going back on that promise. I paid for this myself, so please drive it. Okay? Are you serious? Please drive it. Are you really fulfilling yeah. this and, promise? And somebody who kept a promise all day is your, is your girl, Yvonne Strahovski from Chuck. Yvonne, come on out here and bring Zach his golf cart. <laughs> So check this out. It is it is all blacked out. It is blacked out. It is murdered as they call it. It's got sounds, bro. Check this out. Hey, it goes. Check it out. It goes 25 miles an hour. So good luck with that. It's murdered, blacked out. They gotta get back to Chuck, Yvonne, and Zach. And Tangle is in theaters everywhere. Zachary Levi.